Greetings all, Shard Vixen here, and I'm thinking this is probably the way that I'm going to do my videos for a while. Ugh. Ow. Sorry, my trash can got in the way of my feet. So, this is Madness Crafting, and I am going to be doing a couple of different things here. We're going to make paper mache these letters. Well, this letter. I'm going to paper mache this letter for my grandson. Um... But first, I wanted to show you some of the, he likes, he was named after two comic book heroes from the DC universe. And so, um, my, my daughter wanted to do his name in that. Um, so that's what we're going to, I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how I do it. Paper mache is done by all kinds of different people, but basically it's collaging, <laughs> decoupage is what I'm doing. You, decoupage is where you take an object and you take pictures, either yours that you drew or those that you cut out. So wrapping paper is good for that too. I, I like to use wrapping paper and, and um, poster paper and stuff like that. The thinner the paper, the better transfer you're gonna get. So tissue paper will work too. Um, I've been doing this since I was, oh, Probably about 16, 17 years old, um, I took a class at school, an art class, and um, we did a lot of this. And so, one of the things is people say, well, what, comic books, you know, are expensive. So, if you go to a comic book store, if you're in the United States, I can't talk about any place else because I have not ever bought comic books any place else. Uh, you go in a comic book store, they have these freebie things. Not This one's not Wizards, not, but this one is. And what it is, is it is um, usually got a little bit of a story in it. And then it's going to have as advertisements. So I'm going to turn it so you can see it. Oh, maybe you can see it that way. I don't know. Uh, so it had a little bit of a story here. Let's see. With some artwork. And then it's going to give you a little bit more story. Here's another. This is all about X-Men. And then you'll get stuff like that. So these are good. You get them free. There's one. There's a DC one. Here's the DC one. It's a previews. DC previews. Uh, this is March 2020. I don't know when this one was. Um, and you just, they're going to have really nice artwork in them. And then, you know, a cover maybe. They'll show some covers or something. So you can cut these and use them. And I can show you. I'm going to show you how you do that. And then I have been collecting, I collect comic books. I've been collecting comic books since I was probably about five years old. Um, I remember fondly, if you go, you can go look at my blogs. I talk about it a lot in Shard Vixen's Den. But um, the wizard is another thing. Now, I've been collecting wizards since they first came out. Here's 1991, so there you go. December 1991, so probably it came out in August. I did have the very first wizard. These wizards here are all black and white, pretty much. There's a few color stuff in them, not a whole lot, but uh, the paper was different uh, then. And, you know, you can take out a pictures that you want from that as well. Wizards are pricey, so if you can buy them at a thrift store or something, that's the way to go. This one's 1993. 1991, my was born in July of 1991. So, I've already gone through these, the wizards, and took out pictures I liked. I might go back because I've got quite a few letters to do. But I just wanted to show you that. Uh, not a whole lot of Marvel characters. He's not very into Marvel characters at this time. So I picked out a few things uh, that I'm going to put on. I like this one. So we're going to cut it. This is Nightwing. Now the thing about decoupage, decoupage can be very orderly or very chaotic, just depending on your, your preference. If you are overlapping pictures though, and not in an actual order, from what I was taught so long ago, that is technically, dec that is technically um, collaging. Okay, decoupage is more about an organized theme 
or pitcher using pitchers or other things. So, and how you want to do it is all up to you. Totally up to you. Because a lot of times now, so if I was doing a decoupage of this, which I'm probably not, some of these, this this would have to be laid down so that it would be seen as a whole picture, but I'm not doing that. I don't know what I'm doing yet because I have to cut the pictures out. Okay, so we have that one. We have to kind of decide where we want to put it. That might look good there. Okay, but the thing is, is that this part right here is going to get cut out. Now, I could do, I haven't decided what I'm doing, but I could do where each of the letters that I'm working on has a different superhero. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not, because it's really hard. One of the superheroes he was named after is really hard to get any comic book pieces of him. He's not a real popular. He is now, but he wasn't at the time, so it's hard to get some stuff of him, so... Here's another one. So I, might, I might end up putting that like that. And I'm not for sure yet because I'm just thinking about it. So we'll put that there and see if we like it. Now the question then becomes, is am I only going to do Robin? And that dinging you heard was my oven going off for my polymer clay. And some people like to get really close to the picture, which I will on this. I will at times, and then other times I like the outline. Um, that, again, is totally a preference to you. Some people go past the outline of the picture. Again, totally up to you. Now, I'm not sure if this one is Dick Grayson as well, or if this is the new bat robin or i know i know it's not um jason todd which some of you won't know what i'm talking about but some of you might if you're comic book collectors i'm kind of a unique person one of the few females that actually collects comic books i think there are more now um, when i was collecting them as a teen most women were doing the romance very few, or um Wonder Woman was popular, but very few of them were doing superheroes. Most of them were doing uh, the witch there, the little red witch. I can't remember her name. <laughs> uh, Casper, things like that. I do have to be careful what pictures I get because my grandson is only six. And whereas he might like this later on when he's older, um, I don't want to scare him too much. And some of these comic books can be just a tad bit too old. I don't know because I was reading, like I said, comic books since I was five. So, <laughs> they have changed a lot though. I can tell you that. Okay, so, sorry, there's a lot of, I can't, I can't do right here. It's a little hard on my back. This is your first time watching me. Um, I do suffer from fibromyalgia, and some positions are harder on my back than on my body than other positions, and I don't have a very good crafting chair. I wish I did. That would be awesome. I don't actually have a good setup for my videos either, as you can tell, um, because my video games, I do it off of a Elgato capture card. I think that one would look right, really good right there. Again, a, quite a bit of it would be cut out, so we have to decide if that's what I want to do. If I do, I might bring this down a little bit more. So this video might be a little longer because, you know, I have to... So I have a really nice Batman, but I don't think I'm going to put Batman on there. I do have a very nice Darth Vader as well, which came from a poster book, so these are good too. And there's some clones. I think I'm going to look see if I got Boba Fett, because Jenga and, and Bobo, Bobo is two of the things he likes. There's another Robin. 
Kind of a funny Robin, not so serious. We could probably use him. If we're gonna do if we're gonna do Robin as the theme, I guess. That would be the one we would use. So you know, if you like these kind of things, um, let me know and we can do I can do more decoupage collage style stuff. Um, I made a whole coffee table uh, probably about 20 years ago. No, it was more than that. Probably about 25 years ago. When my daughter was about four. She's going to be 29 this year. So that tells you. Um, made of comic books, front and back. It was an old comic. It was an old, somebody threw it away coffee table because it had, it still, I still have it. <laughs> I've had it that long. Um, it, uh, it had a broken leg and I fixed the leg. So now the leg has problems. Right now it's, where is it at? Can't remember where I put it. Oh, it's upstairs. <laughs> it's upstairs, yeah. Upstairs, that's where it is. Okay, so we're gonna take the, some of this out a little bit. Not a whole lot. You can do this too for Christmas ornaments, which I'll probably do like some Christmas ornaments like this. I'll probably do Christmas ornaments. Okay, so we could put him up here. Now the thing is, is I could do a set base, which I might. I have some um, colors I could put on the back of that, but I'm trying to figure out what else I'm gonna do here. Here's another one. Here's another Robin. Robin! 80th anniversary. Woohoo! 